Yo guys, I'm Jenny from the producer school and in this tutorial I will show you how to make a remix of a track. The first thing you need to do is to download the original song. In this tutorial I'm using uh, Kygo's Remind to Forget um, but you can do this with every, any song you want. Um, I won't play too much of the song because otherwise um, we will get some copyright pr problems um, so yeah I download the track um, and what really important is is to know the BPM of the track um, and I always use the internet for that and there's a site called songkeybpm.com um, and it shows you uh, the key and the BPM of the track um, so s just search for a song and then um, you will see the BPM uh, like in this box um, so this track is 99 BPM so let's select the tempo of the track to 99 so now the tempo is set um, and what you then want to do is to find out the charts of the track um, there's also another site for that and it's called Chortify um, and it's just really easy to work with it sh shows you the course of the track and you can play the track it never fades away um, and in the first part of the track you can hear um, and it will show you that the chord that's played is a C chord um, and in this box it will show you the notes of the C chord um, so let's open up a Vel Studio again open up a piano um, and let's just make that C chord like this Um, and let's try to match it with the original track. Never fades away. And as you can hear, it um, is not on the beat. Um, so sometimes you have to just cut out a bit of the first part of the track to make sure uh, it's uh, correctly fitted to the beat. And you can select the metronome to check if it's on the beat. Never fades away. So as you can hear now it sounds good. Just like broken. Um, and in this part um, there's an F chord like this. So just um, look up the notes like an F, an A or a C um, like this. And then put it into a Velcio. Just like broken glass. Just like broken glass. On my skin. And then in this part it goes up again to a C chord um, as you can see right here in this part so let's copy the C chord um, and this just repeats uh, a certain time and in this part you can hear um, like this chord doesn't fit uh, the original track um, and that means there's another chord progression and a lot of uh, songs there are more chord progressions than one just to make it in more interesting for the listener um, so ju just go further in the track and then you can see uh, a new chord progression starts um, like this and this is the part we want so it starts with an A minor chord like this and just uh, look up the notes and copy them again uh, let me just open up a new pattern so it was an A minor chord and it's only one uh, beat long then it goes to the F chord and then the C so like this And this must be the C chord. So like that, um, just make this one a little bit longer. Copy them. And then it should be fine. Uh, 
um, you can make a remix with an original track like this one but uh, most of the time it's really useful to use an acapella and acapella is just the song without um, the instruments it's just only the vocals and what you then want to do is just uh, to make sure the acapella um, is on the same beat as um, the original track it never fades away like this and then you just can remove uh, the original it never fades away you're staying I'm holding on to my first, first, forget and just repeat uh, the other first, forget your first, like that um and most of the time you don't want to work in the same uh, bpm as the original track because this one is a bit slow if you want to make more house songs um so what you then can do is to go to the sample and go to mode and then select stretch um so this will stretch the acapella without pitching it um and now we can just speed up uh the song like for instance 128 bpm never fades away and now you have just the basic chord progressions tempo um, and the acapella is now uh, fitted to the beat and from this point you can just start by adding layers melodies um, a drop uh, or whatever you want uh, so like this maybe a build up <laughs> like that um so yeah th that's just how you make a remix of the track really simple um and if you have any questions about about this make sure to comment below and we'll answer them i hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial and make sure to leave a like and subscribe